this last video on sorting algorithms, we're going to finish off with merge sort. Now, merge sort is seen in the industry as a very good algorithm, has good speed. Uh, typically, it's considered slightly slower than quick sort. However, it's still an important one, and one reason I actually really like it is because, at least for me, it's a little bit easier to understand at a high level on what exactly merge sort does. So I'm going to come back to the, uh, the animation here and start off seeing how this breaks it down. So what essentially merge sort does is it starts off with small values and then it starts merging those. So it breaks the entire system or breaks the entire array into a number of smaller arrays. And then it recursively merges new arrays or new blocks of the array with the ones that are always sorted. So you can tell right here, this entire block, this is already sorted. And so since you already know that, then when you merge these two together, you can just do a very simple left to right comparison. And you'll know that since the left one is already sorted and the right one is sorted, when you merge them together, it makes it very straightforward to sort those. And so the reason why I wanted to show this one is because quick sort to a lot of people can still be pretty confusing if you've never seen it before. Merge sort makes a lot more sense, especially at a high level when you're thinking about it. And it has great speed. So, uh, and I think the implementation, it's a lot more uh, code than quick sort, but it's, uh, I think it's a little bit easier to stand, uh, understand. So let me come back to the terminal and I'm going to create a, uh, merge sort file and I'll open it up. I'm sure I still have, yeah, there you go. I have it open up here. So, uh, with merge sort, we're going to create a new method and just to keep things simple i'm not going to open up the array class on this one i'm just going to create a method uh, i'm actually going to create two methods we're going to create one method called merge sort and then one called merge and you may wonder why we need two methods and uh, but i i'll show you in a little bit exactly how this is going to work so the first one we're going to do is create the merge sort method. It's going to take an array or it's going to take a list as an argument. And the next method is going to be merge. And with merge, it's going to take two arguments. It's going to take left and right arguments. Uh, and so the merge sort is actually going to be the more simple of the uh, mechanisms. And then merge is the method we're going to be calling from within merge sort. So uh, I'm going to do this a little bit backwards and actually create the implementation for merge first. And then maybe it'll make more sense on what's happening when we call merge inside of merge sort. So first thing I'm going to do is first check if the left is empty. And if so, then we want to simply return the value on the right. That's pretty straightforward. Now for the else, we want to, you probably are guessing it, if the right is empty, then we want to return left. And then uh, the next else if, if this is where it's actually, the other, these ones are more kind of error validation and uh, making, you know, seeing when one side's empty or the other isn't, that's not really a comparison. Uh, here now we're checking to see if the value, the first value on the left side of the array is less than the first value on the right hand side of the array. Now we're going to recursively call merge and return another array. So I'm going to say uh, left dot first and then add that to, we're going to call merge on this, left one dot left dot length and we'll cover this in a second don't worry uh, and then right so what in the world is this is happening right here uh, we want to return an array we can't just call left first the reason why we're having to put it in brackets is because we're adding this to another array because we're merging it in we can't merge in the value plus the array we have to this is going to 
be an array itself. So we have to add this in. So we're taking the if, and this uh, obviously this only runs if the left side, the first element in that array is less than the element on the right hand side. So all this is really doing is it's just comparing the first element with the first element of the other one. Make this a little bit easier. Let's say that we have two arrays and we have one just like that. And now let me do right. So we have these two arrays and let's say this one's 100. And this would only work obviously because we're going to, uh, don't even worry about these other ones. Obviously, if we're merging in, these are actually going to all be uh, uh, sorted already. But all it's doing is it's saying first value on the left, if that is less than the first value on the right, then put that one in this new merged array, put that one first. So in this case, for this, we'll just say newly merged is going to then be this plus the recursively merge. So it's going to take the left side plus one. So it's going to take this, that length, so that total amount, and then put plug that one right here. So you're, you know you're going to get one and then you're recursively doing it. So you're going to get one and then you would get four and then, well, obviously in this case, these need to be switched, but, um, you know what I'm saying there, it's just recursively calling the merge functionality on it. So, uh, it's going to say after what this is, after this runs, this side of it is going to be sorted. So let's see. Okay, that's one side. Now you and you can probably guess what this is going to be. So um, now, well, with this one, we don't even need a uh, another else if. There's only one other option it could be, which is else. And in this case, we're going to say write first, and then add this onto the recursively uh, called left and right and it's pretty much the mirror opposite of this one so we're going to do one dot right dot length and so just so we know the total amount that is left in the array at that point okay and that is it and it's going to return some type of array uh, regardless of which side it falls into so that's the merge method now in merge sort, we need to first do a quick check and say, okay, if list, if the list length is less than or equal to one, then we're just going to return the list. Else, we're going to create three different variables. I'm going to say mid and call list dot length and divide that by two and just to be on the safe side let's call floor on that because you know with say that you called 2.5 uh or i'm sorry if you called five and you ended up with 2.5 then uh, we don't want any decimals here so we're calling floor just to uh, give us a, a simple rounding to the bottom uh, so now on the left variable now we want to recursively call merge sort on it and say in the list we're going to check for the zeroth element to the mid and subtract that by one and now we're going to set the right variable recursively call merge sort on it call list and then here we're going from that middle value all the way to list dot length which is essentially just saying the end of that particular array and now we're going to call merge so here we're calling our merge method and we know that this one takes the left and the right and that's what gets returned so the flow of this is we created merge here and we created merge sort up here first it checks to make sure that the list length is at least greater than one and if it is, it sets three variables. It sets the middle value, so it just 
it takes the array, divides it by two, and then from there it calls merge sort. So it keeps on, this is the process where it keeps splitting those values in those arrays into tiny little pieces. And I'll put some other visualizations so that it, you can kind of visualize how this works. And here, all it's doing is it's calling the list. So it's calling that array and it's saying, give me the first element, which is in our terms is the uh, zeroth element, go all the way up to the mid point and subtract one from it. So if you have an array of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring me that five, subtract one, so that this first element is, or this first array is one through four. And then here, the second one is going to be whatever is to the right of that mid value, which is why we do mid dot dot list dot length. Okay, so that's all it, there is to it. I know it's a lot of code. This is another one of those episodes I would definitely uh, suggest watching a few times because this is not a, uh, it's not an easy concept. This would take anybody, regardless of how much programming experience you have, uh, quite a bit of uh, practice doing. So let's, we're going to call merge sort and we just want to pass the array into it and we'll see if I entered everything in right now. It looks good. Uh, we'll see in one second. So we're going to say Ruby merge sort and there you go. It all worked perfectly. We took our array here and it iterated over each element and broke it down into little tiny pieces, brought it all the way back again and gave us a sorted array. So congratulations. Once you go through that, you now know how to implement merge sort in Ruby.